configuring repository maven maintains its configuration at three different levels global user and project the global level configuration is maintained at maven home conf settings.xml the user level is maintained under your username .m2 settings.xml and the project level is maintained under your project slash pom.xml for example chapter 31 dash pom.xml in order to add a new repository you need to modify the settings.xml there are two places that you can change your settings.xml actually three but uh, we'll be only going over two of the methods that are widely used the screenshot here shows spring and jboss repository added to the settings.xml and um, in the same way you can also add a company repository manager over here you'll see that there are two main parts to repository tag first is id and it can be any id of your choice that you may want to call it for example i'm calling it spring repository and jboss repository the second part is the url this is the public or private url where your artifacts or jar file will be downloaded the second approach to setting the repository is by adding the repo in the pom.xml so you see that the information regarding repository can be provided in the settings.xml or the pom.xml and there are pros and cons to each approach putting the repository information in the pom.xml file can make your builds portable it enables developer to download project and simply build them without any further modification to the local settings.xml but the problem with this approach is that when artifacts are released the corresponding pom.xml will have the repository information hard coded in them if the repository urls were ever to change consumer of these artifacts will run into error due to broken repository paths and putting repository information in settings.xml file addresses this problem and because of flexibility it provides the settings.xml approach is typically recommended in the enterprise setting.